is the perfect weekend to talk to you about this because of what happened this week um, and, and the vote that happened and the Supreme Court ruling about Roe v. Wade. And we can we can talk a little bit about that because that's how everybody's algorithm gets boosted is saying Roe v. Wade, Roe v. Wade, Roe v. Wade. That's what that's what YouTube wants to hear. <laughs> and that's what YouTube wants to boost. So there it is, guys. Now you have it like eight feet, eight, eight freaking times. OK, um, I didn't want to talk about it, but I can I'll, I'll tell you how I feel about it. That's it. Please. Like within like with like two sentences. OK, so I feel like it's bullshit and I feel like they 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 knew this was going to happen and they took it away. So there I have two two things, I think, like they're either going to give it back and pretend like the Democrats are the heroes after they fundraise some. So they can be like, oh, yeah, we did this for you and get elected. Or they're going to just totally go fucked up <laughs> and just not give it back, but still fundraise off of it and tell people to vote on it. And then nothing will ever happen. Like, I just it's got to be one or the two. But I still I still see people blaming Trump for this. I was like, this, this is actually not Trump's fault. <laughs> it's, it's not Trump's fault. In no way. There's I other mean, things at fault here. There's so many things that are at fault. I mean, how do you not blame the Hillary Clinton campaign? I mean, how do you not blame the Democratic Party Obama. in general? Obama and Harry Reid for blowing Biden. up the whole the whole <laughs> filibuster you know the, the 60 vote rule they abandon right and this is what i've been screaming about for days you know all these democrats and the filibuster you got to push mansion to end the filibuster guys you're about to lose the senate for god only knows how many years you want to end the filibuster and give yourself no chance of having any any chance to stop any legislation whatsoever if the, if the republicans get the house and the White House, that's the dumbest strategy I've ever heard. And you're setting yourself up for absolute fascism. It's dumb. OK, because they're going to have a majority in both houses. And if Biden can't string two sentences together and things continue the way they're continuing it for the next two years, we're in deep, deep shit, you know, um, and they're we'll certainly take your seats.